In this video, I'm going to be teaching how to cut and then sew this sleeve. If you're interested in it, kindly watch till the end. Let's get started. So the fabric I used is a satin fabric and then cotton for lining. First thing I'm going to be doing is to mark one inch from the lower part of the fabric up. Note this fabric is on fold and I'm going to be making a straight line. After that, I'm going to be measuring the length of my sleeve. So I'm going to be using 9 inches but then you can use from 9 to about 12 inches depending on how long you want the sleeve to be. You can also reduce it to 8 or 7 if you don't want it big. So after marking my 9 inches, I'm going to be making a straight line at the upper part as well. Next, I'm going to be marking my cup height and then I'm going to be using 4 inches. You can either use 3.5 or 4 depending on how big you are. So after marking, I'm going to be drawing another straight line over there. My round sleeve measurement is 13 inches. So I'm going to be dividing that 13 inches by 2 and then mark it down there. So I have 6.5 inches. After marking the 6.5 inches, I'm going to be adding extra 5 inches to it since the sleeve is going to be big or the lower part or where the arm fits is supposed to be big. So I'm adding 5 inches to it. Now my armhole measurement is 20 inches and I'm dividing that also into 2. Then I'm going to mark it on the cup line. So I'm going to mark in 10 inches over there as i'm marking the 10 inches i'm going to be adding five inches to that part as well since the sleeve is big i'm going to be adding five inches to it and you can either connect it to meet it at that point or from that cap line you are coming down straight i'll explain that later in the video so now i'm going to be drawing the shape of my sleeve from that point through to the cup line, the end of the cup line. Next thing I'm going to be doing is to go up by 5 inches from the height of the sleeve. You can go as high as you want but then this fabric is about 5 inches left so I'm going to be marking that 5 inches over there and then I'm going to be connecting it to the sleeve. So just draw a curve from that point just like this and then blend it to the sleeve as you see me doing. So this is going to be the length of how the sleeve is going to look like. Next thing I'm going to be doing is, like I said, you can make that line straight down without that curvy part over there. It will make the sleeve big but then it will give you a nice shape. So inside that line, I'm going to be marking one inch. You can either bring it out or in. The sleeve is already big, so anyhow you do it, you're still going to get your nice sleeve. So I'm going to be marking that part where the cap ends, and then I'm going to cut out. After cutting out, I'm going to be cutting it on a lining and then on a on an interfacing. I use the medium interfacing, but then I advise you to use a hard one because the medium is not that firm. So I'm going to be fusing the interfacing onto the lining like this, and then I'm going to be reducing the length of the lining by one inch. This is to help me get a nice finish after turning the sleeve or after stitching it together. So I'll explain that to you after sewing. So this is how it's supposed to be. The main fabric is supposed to be longer than the lining fabric. Next, with right side facing each other, 
I'm going to be joining it by half inch or one inch at the lower part. So after stitching, this is what I have. Next, I'm going to be turning the sides together and then stitch my seam allowance. I want the side of the sleeve to hide. I don't want a raw edge when I turn it in. So I'm going to be stitching that part. This is what I meant. So after stitching, you can see all the raw ed edges are hidden. And then when you open it up, you see you can't see the lining, but rather you see the main fabric before the lining. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to make pleats on the sleeve. I'm going to be making pleats. You can either make pleats or garters, but then make sure after the pleats or garters, when you measure, you are going to be getting the size of your armhole after. So whilst you are pleating, make sure you are, you are taking your measurements or you are measuring the sleeve to know how big or small it has become. So at this point, I still have more space and then or excess fabric. So I'm going to be making more pleats. So I get the size of my armhole. But then when you apply to make sure the intervals are the same so that you get an even pleat after so after pleating this is what i have i'm going to be securing the upper part before that i measure the sleeve to make sure i have the size of my armhole before i'll be securing that part so this is the end result of the sleeve I hope you enjoyed these tutorials. See you another time. Bye.